Did you accept? Ask Jack. Well, I hardly think that would be appropriate. Oh, who are you kidding? You'll probably corner him as soon as I'm gone. I would think that. I would say also it will be about 30 seconds before you start telling him what a mistake our marriage would be. She can't make that dinner with you tonight, and she said she'll call you later. Oh, great. Well, it looks like cheeseburgers at McKay's for me. What the hell kind of cop do you think you are, huh? Where's your loyalty to the department? And how about playing it straight with me? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that ruse you pulled on me last night with Derek and Mimi makes me think you've got me pegged for a chump. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need a little translator here, huh? Aiding and abetting, Dylan. Understand that? Encouraging fraternization with the police officers when it's been clearly forbidden. Get out of here. You invited them to your house so they could skirt the regulations. I don't appreciate that. You're wrong about this. Yeah? If anybody had seen that romantic duo last night, we'd be knee-deep in it today. You're crazy. Mimi and Derek are my friends. I just invited them over to the house to have a little dinner with the missus. That's not what's been going down. And don't insult me with your cover story. Oh, come on. Hey, what you did was completely unprofessional, Dylan, and it better not happen again. Wait a minute. Just wait one cotton-picking minute here. Since when do you or anybody else in this department have any say in who I bring home to dinner to my house? Since the chief made the stupid rule. Yeah, and it is a stupid rule, and I would say that to his face. Yeah, well, why don't you? Maybe I will. Maybe you should. You don't have any... Guy, hey, hey, you hey, better guys, watch guys, it! Guys, 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 hey, hey, hey. The stupid rule, you know it. It's stupid and wrong, and in principle and application is W-R-O-N-G. It violates our rights, and somebody is going to bring it to court and prove him wrong. Yeah, well, why don't you do it, Dylan? Maybe, maybe, just maybe, I will. Dylan, 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 I appreciate you backing me up on this, man, but I will not be marching to court on this. Say what? It's no point in complaining, because the rule doesn't apply to me. How so? Mimi and I have split. No. Yeah, so if there's no relationship, then there is no infraction to the crummy rule. I'm going to enforce the regulation, Fry, because no department can function without discipline. But, as far as I can see, there's no infraction going on now, so there'll be no report from me. So you won't say anything to the chief? I don't see why I would, no. I can count on that. Is it over? It's over. Then what's to report? Thanks. Are you on the level about this? Yeah. Yeah, Mimi won't break the departmental regulations, so she's breaking us. Why don't you try to talk her out of it? Oh, Trevor, I've tried, man. Believe me, I have tried. But, um, police work is just too important to her. It stinks. Yeah, well, unless we find a loophole or we get a miracle, Mimi and I are finished. I see. Well, thanks. Exactly what we thought. No food drive at the police department. No food drive. Shh. No, I won't be that long, all right? Did you let up the car like I oh, Yes, ma'am. I put all the groceries into the trunk except for that one, the other bag. What other bag? This, well, this one, it has all that fresh fruit and vegetables that you asked me to pack. Would you like me to put it on the front seat of the car? Yes, fine. Thank you. You know, excuse me, but are you sure about this bag? Yes, why? Well, I've just never heard of a food drive where they ask for perishables. You know, usually they just ask for canned goods and things that... Fine, I'll take the bag. I'll take care of it. Winifred, in future, would you just follow my instructions and don't question them? Huh. Whoa. It's got to be what we think. Yeah, it could be. Janet must be on her way to make uh, the food drop to Natalie. Let's go. Good cheeseburger, huh? <laughs> Great. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I'm catching a late bite, just like you. 
Listen, Jack, I, I don't mean to intrude, but I have pictures here uh, of my trip with Bianca, and I thought you might like to see uh, the new baby sure, and I Molly so. and Bianca. Great. Uh, may I? Oh, please. please. Baby's doing beautifully. Good. How's Molly? Oh, she's doing very, very well. The transplant was a big success, and everybody's just crossing their fingers. Well, I guess you know all this. Well, I heard it through the grapevine, but it's always nice to hear it from somebody who's actually that. Whoa, look at this gorgeous little girl. Oh, isn't she? She sure is. Yep, she's turned into a real beauty, just like her mother. Well, thank you. That's a very sweet thing to say. So, you uh, enjoyed your trip out there? Oh, yes, I did. I mean, too short, always too short. Sure. I'm not getting weepy again. It's okay. Well, my time spent with Bianca is just very precious. I'm sure it is. I don't know. No matter how hectic or demanding my life is, just somehow when I'm with her, everything just slows down and clears away and I can get my priorities in order. Well, I see she and Charlie get along very well, huh? Oh, no. Oh. How did the picture get in there? I don't understand that. That was um, our uh, trip to Nantucket. Um, Charlie arranged for Bianca to visit with us, and I just, I, I had no idea about it. It was a big surprise to me. Well, was very dear of him. But very thoughtful. I'm very sorry about the way things turned out with Charlie and me. I really am. I heard he's left town. Yes, yes, on a, a tour for enchantment. Packing a broken heart, undoubtedly. I'm afraid so. Look, I know that I should never have let things go so far. I I knew that it was going to take me a long time to get over our um, well, a love like uh, like ours. Yes. And I just never should have gotten involved with him. Never. I I never should have uh, allowed things to to get that far. I I know the rules. <laughs> Erica, it's my experience that in things like this, there are no rules. Oh, yes, there are. And rebound relationships never work is right at the top of that list. I mean, someone always gets hurt. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm so sorry. For what? Well, for going on and on about the obvious. I, I certainly didn't mean to preach at you. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You would certainly never get involved in anything so ill-advised as I did, a kind of relationship like that. You would never hurt anyone the way I hurt Charlie. So let's talk about something else, okay? Do you have any idea how rare it is to find someone who makes you happy, how the few of us are so lucky? Let's not start this. You're throwing away something that you may never have again. Derek loves you. I know that. So why are you doing this? To him and to yourself. I did what I had to do, Trevor. You're leveling a guy who would die for you. It's not like I feel good about this, okay? I didn't want to break up with Derek. Then why are you doing it? To save us both from being ruined. <laughs> Come on, you can find a way around this. The only way around is the way straight out of the department. Do you have to be so rigid? Couldn't you just... What, what, bend, slide under the rules? Yeah. All I've ever wanted to be, ever since I was a little girl, is a cop. It's everything to me, everything. I understand that. You can. Oh, yes, I do, Reed. It's my life, too. I don't mean to insult you, Trevor, but you have no idea what it's like for me to have gotten where I've gotten. You're on account of the fact that you're a woman. Yeah, and a black woman. We have to know more, work harder, be better than any man on the force. And when we're finally accepted, that is something precious, and I'm not going to let go of it. I'm not asking you to let go of it. Oh, yeah, you are. You think being in love should just wipe all that out? Is it because I'm a woman, Trev? Is that why you think I should just chuck it all for a man? No, 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 no. My father lived and breathed police work. He died doing police work. I feel as strongly about it as he did, and I want to be as good a cop as he was. I've dreamed about it. I've worked at it. I'm right here doing it. I can't throw that away. And you love Derek. I'm not going to break regulations. I won't do that to myself. And I won't do it to my family. <laughs> 